good morning. Welcome to today's Sunday Starter. My name is Johnny. It is brilliant to have you with us if you are a regular member of our St George's Kids family. Uh, but if you're watching us for the first time today, for any reason, from anywhere, we hope that you will enjoy your experience uh, with us. Uh, we've taken a break from our regular series to start to explore the Easter story. Last week we looked at Palm Sunday, the kind of beginning of Jesus' journey to the cross. Today is Easter Day, one of my favourite days uh, in the calendar as we get to celebrate Jesus' resurrection and be reminded of the love, the joy and the hope uh, that that brings to us. So we're going to be exploring that uh, a little bit later on. Uh, as normal, in the description below, uh, you can find a link to the church website uh, where you can download the full uh, session uh, to go along with uh, today, uh, which has some questions, some uh, prayers and some activities, uh, which you can do later on uh, today if you would like to. Some worship ideas uh, and information of how to get in touch with me uh, and the church if you'd like any more information about anything we do for children, uh, families uh, or uh, for the life of the church. Do check uh, those out. We are going to begin uh, with a game as we always do. Today is a sequence related uh, game. So on the screen you're going to see um, some images uh, using some emojis and some icons uh, that are going to create a, a sequence. Um, but the next one is going to be blanked out. So you've got to try and work out what symbol belongs next in the various sequences that you are about to see. Play along with whoever you're watching with uh, today um, and see if you can work out what symbol should come next in each of these lines of sequences and we'll see how you get on. to get uh, all of those sequences full and correct. We're going to have our Bible story uh, now, uh, which is going to tell us kind of the build up towards um, Jesus's death and then resurrection uh, of the Easter story. Uh, we'll do that through our normal uh, picture related storytelling. But if you want to follow along uh, in the Bible, we're going to be in Luke's Gospel, uh, which is the uh, third of the four Gospels. Um, and we're going to be kind of looking at we're kind of starting from, uh, where are we, chapter kind of 22, and we're going to pick up little bits of the story uh, that will take us all the way through to the end of Luke's Gospel in chapter 24. So if you want to follow along with the Bible, you can do that, but we'll look at our story now, and then we'll do our two-minute talk, our memory verse, and our thought for the day. During Jesus' life, he taught many people about God's love. He healed people from sickness, performed incredible miracles like calming a storm and turning water into wine. But the Jewish leaders didn't like Jesus and were worried about what he was doing. So they convinced Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, to betray him so they could get him arrested and place him before the governor. Jesus was put before Pontius Pilate. But he didn't think Jesus had done anything wrong. But the crowd rallied and shouted, crucify him. So Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. Jesus was beaten, had a purple robe put on him and a crown of thorns placed on his head. He was handed over to the soldiers who nailed him to a cross. At noon, darkness came across the land and three hours later, Jesus gave his last breath and was placed in a tomb. But three days later, that tomb was empty and Jesus rose from the dead. 
He appeared to his disciples for the next 40 days and showed many people that he was alive and well and that his death was part of God's rescue plan to forgive us for the things we get wrong and make our relationship with God new again. Brilliant. So it's two minute talk time where we take the Bible story and just explore it in just two minutes. So our timer is up and ready and we will begin uh, now. So this is brilliant. This is um, the kind of victory moment of God's big rescue plan. Jesus uh, has been on earth. He has been sharing the message of God's love. He's been healing. He's been performing miracles. He's been gathering this following. And as we looked at yes, uh, last week, um, he enters Jerusalem on Palm Sunday with this big celebration. But then just a few days later, uh, the teachers of the law, they rally against Jesus. Um, Jesus um, is betrayed by Judas. He points out Jesus to the, uh, to the guards and they bring Jesus um, to be arrested, to be crucified. And that for lots of people they think is the end of the story. But Easter Day celebrates Jesus' resurrection uh, and that shows Jesus' triumph over death and over sin, over the things that we get wrong. Um, because we live in a world that's not perfect um, and sin, those mistakes, they are a barrier between us and God. Uh, and those sins, those mistakes create that barrier. Um, but Jesus's death and his resurrection remove that barrier and they bring us closer to God again. And it's because of Jesus's death and resurrection um, that we can have hope, we can have freedom because we are forgiven for those things that we get wrong that we'll continue to do. But because of Jesus's death and resurrection, our relationship with God is made new and we can have new life. Um, Easter is about spring. Uh, it's about new life. And that's what the Easter story is about. It's about us bringing our reminder of Jesus's sacrifice because of something we didn't deserve being brought back in closeness with God again. That is what today uh, is all about and that is why we celebrate the Easter story. Brilliant. Um, those are our two minutes up and our, our one thing for today is just that really. It's that um, this is uh, Jesus' death and resurrection was part of God's rescue plan to bring us closer to him. Um, it's about um, breaking that barrier um, and it's because of Jesus's sacrifice, because of Jesus's death, um, that we can have our relationship with God made new. That's our one thing uh, for today. And our memory verse can be found in uh, Luke's gospel. Uh, it's from Luke uh, 24 and it is verse 6. Uh, when the woman comes to the tomb uh, expecting to find Jesus's body there, but she's met with an angel who says to her in verse six, um, he, meaning Jesus, he is not here, he has risen. A brilliant reminder of the, the kind of shock of people. And then uh, Jesus meets uh, with lots of different people over the coming days. And people just couldn't quite believe that Jesus was actually there in front of them. Um, uh, even though he'd been telling them throughout his ministry, this is what's gonna happen. It's a brilliant, uh, triumphal, celebratory uh, day to remember everything that Jesus has done for us. Um, we're going to move on to our quick little craft activity. It's super quick. All you need is a piece of A4 paper. And I'm going to show you how to make one of these paper crosses. Uh, you don't need any scissors. You just need one piece of paper and to follow some folding instructions to come up with this cross. So follow these instructions. You can join in at home and make one of these. OK, so here's how you can make one of your paper crosses using just an A4 piece of paper. No scissors required. OK, so first step is to fold a corner upwards like so and then you're going to do the same thing with this other corner so we folded that one up and then we're going to fold that one up so we get something that's a little bit like that 
Then we're going to fold that up there. We get something that's a little bit like a boat. And then we're going to fold that in half. And we have something that looks like that. And then holding it by the little point up here, we're just going to rip straight down. It's quite hard, so make sure you get through the folds. So we're left with two bits. This is the bit we can get rid of, don't need that. Unfold this, and as long as we've done it correctly, you should be left with a paper cross. Now you can decorate this, you could write your name in the middle, um, write the names of your family, celebrate everything that Jesus has done through that cross. Fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed that session celebrating everything there is uh, about the Easter story and the joy of, e of Jesus' uh, resurrection. Uh, we're taking a little break from Sunday Starters uh, next week. I'm away uh, on holiday, um, so there'll be no session next week, but we'll be back uh, the week after, which is... Let me double check the calendar so I get the right date. We will be back on Sunday the... 18th of April where we are going to launch some brand new material uh, it's going to be called build your faith we're going to be looking at some of the key things that help us build our faith up uh, things like prayer church Bible reading understanding a bit more about Jesus how do we build and grow our faith so we're going to be starting that on Sunday uh, the 18th in the meantime uh, keep in touch on our social media channels and the church website for all the latest information and up-to-date events have a brilliant day, a brilliant Easter break, and we'll see you again uh, very soon.